Hey guys, so everyone is starting to build their teams in Hockey Ultimate Team, so I thought that I would put together a best of all price ranges video for the early pre-order stage launch of NHL 23. So I'm going to give you a few options at each of the price range buckets for under 10,000, under 25,000, under 50, under 100, and then under 250k. These are the cards that I think are pretty good value. Let me know if you have any suggestions though down below in the comment section. If you guys haven't come and hang out during my live streams, I go live at 12 p.m. Eastern time every single day twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12 let's get into the cards all right we'll start with under 10,000 coins you've got taylor hall for 6,000, roughly in the marketplace right now 90 speed 89 acceleration and a mid 80 shot if you've got a brand new starter team like bronze and silver cards still in your lineup taylor hall should be one of the first cards that you try and go out and grab very very good card for bare minimum next we've got the 82 evgeny kuznetsov with fly the zone 92 speed with fly the zone activated 90 acceleration and 87 agility mid 80 shooting this is basically another version of taylor hall just a little bit faster he's going right now for about the same price i'd probably have evgeny kuznetsov over taylor hall if you're trying to choose between one of the two but both of them are phenomenal options early on for under 10,000 coins and then lastly in the 10,000 range we've got the 82 hut 23 jonathan taves he's got silver quick draw the reason why i have him in the lineup in terms of centermen that are going for very cheap there's not very many that have a great face-off rating and come with quick draw this is basically a very cheap version of old Jokinen. he's got okay speed at 85 acceleration 85 speed which is not good but you don't need your centermen to be exceptionally fast you're not breaking the puck out with them down the boards or anything like that he does everything that you need a centerman to do so right now he's going for 3.5 thousand coins i would definitely take that all right next up under 25 thousand coins you've got the 83 morgan riley i've been using this card for the last few days with gladiator activated he makes up for you know his little bit lower body checking but he's very quick at 88 speed and acceleration can't go wrong here with the 83 morgan riley he's going for about 13 thousand coins the always underpriced mark shifley his new 84 overall hut 23 card comes with workhorse which can get his acceleration up to 90 he's six foot three 207 which is great size 88 speed and a mid to high 80 shot his hand stats are above 85 just a very well-rounded card and finally because they added that minimum to centers and their face-off rating you can actually play him in the middle uh, so a very strong card here he's going for about 21,000 coins definite buy for me if you're looking for another strong centerman and then lastly we've got the 83 overall matthew barzell 92 speed 90 excel acceleration i've been using barzell uh, again on my main team and he is exceptionally fast you notice his ability to deke all of that very very good card i would try and get his x factor if you can for cheap or if you get it in one of the trade-in sets i would take him not over obviously mckinnon or mcdavid or any of those guys but nonetheless one of the better x factors in terms of price point uh right now this is going for sixteen thousand coins easy buy if you're looking for a right-handed winger Next on to the under 50,000 coin range, we've got the Dylan Larkin base card with elite edges. I have loved this card. If you've watched my videos, it has been one of my favorites to use so far. 30,000 coins is roughly where you're going to see the bottom price for him. And uh, he plays better than his stats. His shot is much better than the low 80s ones that's on the screen. So I'm all about this card. If you have 30,000 coins looking for a left-handed winger or center, if you really need him to, Dylan Larkin's your guy. The right-handed version of of Dylan Larkin would be the 84 Steven Stamkos has distributor as well if you can get that activated helps on the face off dot and you can play him at center uh, has a decent acceler or a great acceleration at 92 and his shot is in the high 90s uh, great all around card I have his X factor card really really enjoy it the base one's going for about 40,000 coins so if you're looking for an upgrade over Barzal I'd rather have I'd rather have Stamkos just because of that shot and then lastly we've got the 84 overall Jack Eichel going for 28,000 coins I'm not a big fan of putting wheels on players that have under 90 speed just because it's not as impactful, obviously. Uh, and the cost is a little bit high, but silver wheels isn't bad in terms of the price point. You can play Jack at center now with a 79 on the draw. It's a little bit low, but if you if you know the face-off counters, if you don't, I will have a video coming out this weekend that will go over all of the face-offs for you. And he's got mid to high 80 shooting. It's an all-around great card, the 84 Jack Eichel. All right, under 100,000 coins. The only card that I found that I like the value of, if you've been watching my streams, is the base Kale McCarr. He has been awesome for me. Gladiator gets his body checking up as well. His skating 
ranking is just so much noticeably better than almost every other player that I've come up against, and I have some of the best cards on my team. 80,000 is a lot for a base card, but it should hold his value for quite some time because I don't see any defenseman that's around six foot that has 93 speed and acceleration uh, coming into the game that isn't going to be like 500,000 coins. So uh, the 86k on the card, 80k, I like it. And then basically, if you've got unlimited coins, the only other one above 100,000 that I don't mind is Nathan McKinnon. I've been using his base card. I now have his X Factor. Really, really enjoy it. Can actually put him at center as well. I don't know if I would go much more than like 110,000 coins. Like I said, base cards are tough to invest in because they will drop in price quite a bit. However, because of Nathan McKinnon's X Factor being so high, it should be around 100k no matter what. Uh, so if you've got this level of coins, he's a pretty strong buy. But other than that, there isn't very other many cards in this price range that I like. I'm waiting for the new event. For goaltenders, guys, I've gotten a lot of questions about goalies because of the new change to um, because of the new change to one timers being you know a lot for goaltenders, guys. I'm not a huge fan of recommending goaltenders because they aren't going to make you much better. They are going to bail you out every once in a while. But because of the change in NHL 23, the backdoor cross eyes one timer is just being stopped by pretty much anyone. I'm using base Igor Shesterkin, and I played 40 games. Look at those numbers 1.41 goals against and an 83% save percentage. So use that as you may. You don't even need to have post to post activated. So he's going for about 30K. I've liked him so far. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below and don't forget to catch the live stream twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12 i'll see you guys there have a good one